Hello everyone, my name is Jaime Lisondra and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. It is a sunset on a winter landscape with some birch trees on the right side. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that bell button if you want to receive some future notification of my new videos and tutorials. Okay everyone, so you can see all the materials near the screen. You can see there the, the five limited colors, the different brushes that we're gonna need to use and to paint this tutorial okay so i'm going to start now and first i'm gonna do a little sketching so it's very important to have guide before we're gonna start so i have here the room amber and i'm going to put some white and a little water make it a little white and then I'm going to put first uh, my horizon. It will be here. There. So uh, I have a reference photo now. And I'm afraid to show it here, but uh, I, I found it on the pixels.com. I'll just show you the, uh, the, the link below so that you can see. Yeah, I'll just try to copy this one so that it can have a better, uh, most realistic effect. Okay, so we have another horizon. And then here, uh, by the way, this is um, a landscape with uh, plenty of snow. Yeah, uh, I, I, I need to find some reference because um, this time, I'll just do, I need, uh, I want to make sure that it looks like a, a realistic painting and to make, to make it look like more realistic I need to find photo and uh, sadly we have no winter here in our place in the Philippines so I just want to show I just want to copy from photo from the internet um, yeah on the internet it said that and fixus.com it said that it's free free to use and no no commercial link or no no links needed so i think this is free photo hopefully okay yeah i have that and here i'm gonna put some birch trees so this those this birch, birch trees are uh there's no leaves there so because it's winter and some tree and there's will be a sun here yeah yeah, maybe that would be also here. The horizon. Something like that. Okay, so I'm going to start now. It's been three minutes and I haven't started. Okay, so I'm going to put first the sky. I'm going to use this blue color. And then white with a little uh, red to make it purple with water and there the sky will be a little dark and there will be no clouds so this is the second step which is the underpainting But maybe I will just try to make it uh, okay. I'm gonna add some white and water. I'm gonna put water here on the bottom part. I know, I mean white, not water, everyone. But all you have to do is just blend it. Uh, blue and red. Oh. 
all you have to do is uh, perfectly plane it like this okay like uh, the sky will be a little dark but yeah i think i like it okay just um, clean a little your brush because i'm gonna use some more red yeah like this it will be more reddish purple and then i'll try to put it here I have to blend it perfectly well there I think that's good I like this tongue bus everyone because I can blend it uh, good there yeah anyway I'll just cover it with with some uh, with some uh, trees here trees with no with no uh, with no leaves yeah and now I'll try to cover it this part uh, with dark uh, black or you can if you're black you can also use black but I don't really like like, like to cover it with uh, with uh, perfectly black there because um, yeah I just, I just want to put some dark color but not black on the photo it looks like black but I don't like it just uh, I just use uh, blue and blue and raw umber yeah it will look like black on the photo on the, on the, on the camera but it's not actually black here I think I'm gonna need to put more blue. You can also put a little red. Yeah, this will make uh, much more solid colors there. Because uh, our blue is not so op opaque. Yeah, you can also much more use of purple. Yeah, purple is uh, also okay. Uh, this part here is a little wet, so we can a little try. I will do the black kings first. This one almost look like black, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not black. So here I have some. I think this one is uh, purple. There. I can put some mountain here. Yeah, I will not copy so much on the pot, everyone, because I just uh, so almost the same. But it'll just be. So it will take my time if, if I'm going to always to see it.
there. Yeah, because there's a river here, so I'm going to move it. I'm going to make it more like uh, diagonal. Okay. There. Yeah, maybe I'll just put some details on the top of the of the trees. Like the tip of the pound pine trees there. Like this. Let's use this brush again, number 8 flat brush. Okay, so I'm going to put more. Yeah, what I like about the tape of flat brush is that it can create beautiful fine trees. Okay, I think that looks good. And then here everyone, we're gonna put, yeah here, I'm going to put a uh, yellow. But make sure you clean your brush. Do not let the uh, other colors ruin. Clean your brush again. Because we're gonna use yellow now and if you're gonna ruin this yellow, it will turn greenish or something. Something not good. So yellow. I just put the yellow here directly, like that. And then I'm gonna mix yellow and red. I mix some orange. There. Actually, when this is a snow event, not a 
That's why we need to put some a little like purple here or something like reddish purple because this is a snow. Yeah, but I will put first some reddish color there. Okay, and Yeah, some red tones uh, here or brownish. There. Okay, or some some more browns here are more reddish brown okay and then I'm gonna use a bigger brush yeah I think I'm going to use some more purples much more purple so I have here some blue and red it should be purple if not blue not blue violet or something else like that. yeah I'm gonna put some white more red this is a little difficult on this part that's why this is just too dark everyone so I'm gonna add more white and red I just have to blend it here. There. I'm going to put more red and white. Let's really blend it to the top, everyone. Sorry, everyone, if there's some noises in the background. <laughs> there are plenty of children playing there. Okay. There. Okay. Yeah, at least yeah, we, we feel it that up a bit here. This part should be more less, much more like brownish. But I still want to use more red. And or much more like orange, yeah. Use more yellow and red, then white.
Okay. I have to perfectly plane here on this part. Okay, I like the blending here. It's so smooth, everyone. So, yeah, yeah. So I think I am done with the underpainting, and I'm going to try now uh, adding plenty of details. I'm trying now to put uh, more like uh, orange or. Yeah, especially the sky there on the top. Okay. So I'll be using a smaller brush, number 8 flat brush. I have here the yellow and the red. I have a little red now. That is fine. And I'm going to add some white. There. One more yellow. I'm going to put it on the sky. There. Yeah, I just have to blend it. So you have to blend it here. I just try to uh, spread it here on the top a little so that it will turn a little greenish okay Now I'll try uh, more yellowish, yellow and white. Yeah, so far I like it. Okay, I will try to zoom in. Okay, so I think that is uh, perfectly close. And I will try to put some more. more yellow yeah okay 
Usually here. This will be our sun here. Okay, and I will shift to a smaller brush. And then I'm gonna mix uh, yellow and red to make some orange. So we can put the sun rays here. I'm using now a smaller brush. I'm gonna use some more reddish color. I think it's not bad. I'll use more reddish Okay, there, and then I'm going to use yellow. I know first I'm going to use some orange. Yeah, it should be lighter orange, everyone. the sun should be here yeah you should use dry brush everyone so that uh, all your strokes will be dry Yeah, here I'm gonna put some more yellow. There, I think much more yellow. still wet okay and then I'm going to use some white just a plain white everyone can put it here it's just like a big white there But more white. Yeah, and then I'm gonna use yellow. So I need to put yellow here. There, 
Okay. Yeah. Another yellow here. But maybe later we want. I'm going to intensify this part there. Okay, so we have now some sun ray. Yeah. I like the sun rays. Yeah, but I'm going to lighten here. More yellow. Okay, and then here we're gonna make it uh, much more serious. I'm gonna use some orange. Let's put a tiny detail here. There. Okay. Then I'll try to put some white. Yeah, on this part as a reflection. Okay. Try to put some yellow or orange just here. Okay. Yellow and red. I just want this part to be look more orange. Yeah, sorry. Okay, maybe I'll just do it later on. And then I have here some orange, I'll put it here. Yeah, maybe I'll just use a bigger brush. Uh, yellow and red mix some orange and white. yellow yeah I'm gonna put it here there 
just have to make this part uh, more like orange or reddish because of the sun's uh, sun's, sun's uh, light golden light or something yeah, here I put a little detail Okay, I'm not sure if you can still see it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I will try to zoom out. Okay, I hope that this is really clear for you. Okay, everyone. So I hope this is that you can see it clearly. Okay, and in here I will try to. I'll try to put more uh, details. Uh, I'm gonna use this uh, yellow and oh no, red and blue, like purple. Okay. I'll put it here. Uh, this is some uh, bushes or some some plants here a little distant so i'm just using a little purple color okay and this purple color i'm gonna put some white or much more red I'm gonna make this uh, lighter. I just have to make it lighter here everyone okay so far I yeah, it's good uh, this one is a little purple color Okay, I think I love this one. Yeah. And here under this stand, I'm gonna put more light yellow.
I'll just put uh, some tiny details here in a distance. Okay. And then after that, we're gonna put some uh, reflection. Oh, no, I mean, uh, casted shadow. So I'm going to use more bluish uh, purple. So it's from here. Has this shadow from the sun. Yeah. This is much more bluish. Okay. There. And um, you're seeing this. I'm going to put some more, some tree here. A little tree. That make the casted shadow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the beginning is very really good. Yeah, so far I like it. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put some snow there or some tiny details on this. But maybe I just have to put. Yeah, just a little everyone because I'll just have to cover this one later on some snow there actually this is a river here but later I'll just have to cover that yeah, I need also to put some brownish red and a little umber on this top yellow some brownish on this top of the tree uh, this forest something like that it's just there so I also here on the trees you can see a little brownish tone there some highlights from the from the golden sun okay so I will not uh, make plenty of details there so I'm going to proceed here I'm gonna put more yellow yellow and red and then white I will just put some highlights here I'm using the bigger brush. Uh, it's, I'm gonna make it a little more reddish. can make it uh, not so not so fine because uh, I'll put some tiny details here like some 
Yeah, just like that. Okay, yeah. So far, it looks really good. Okay, I will now try. I will now put here some three, and of course, I will use a smaller brush, number two flat brush. Okay, umber and a little red. I think you can also put some blue. This will be dark but not black. can make it like a regular Okay, I will now use a smaller brush, the round brush, and in this raw umber, I will just use raw umber perfect. Uh, directly with a little blue. some red yeah I will put more I'll put more uh, branches I'll try the liner brush everyone
Yeah, I just have to put plenty of branches here on the top. So you can just do it, do like this to make it look more better. Uh, plenty of branches. Okay. Okay, yeah, you can see now there are plenty of uh, there are plenty of uh, something like um, plenty of branches there. So yeah, it should be plenty because uh, those branches have leaves a few months ago. So we should always wait like that. Okay, so what's next? I am going to add those burst trees yeah here yeah i'm really excited to add this one i'm not sure how much time i'm gonna need to finish this one but i like to put more time here so i have some blue umber red and yellow Umber, red, and yellow. Yeah, we'll put one here. here Another one here should be bigger. This time it uh, should be a little bigger.
Okay. And then this one. And then you can put the smaller one here. Yeah. Clean your brush or clean my brush. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to start adding some highlights here on this, uh, on the left side of this uh, breast face. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty excited because I think this is really look good. I think I'll just use uh, this uh, flat brush. I have here some yellow and then white. Yeah, just put it on the left side. It's a little yellowish around, yellowish. And then also here. Okay. So just use white and yellow to make these highlights. And I want to say thank you also to the photographer of this photo. Because I'm not really sure who's the photographer here because I just I didn't see any link there on the pix, uh, on the pixels.com so maybe I'll just put the link on the pixels.com website and now I'll be using this uh, umber and blue to make some dark color like almost black Okay. Okay, and here also, yeah.
So here we're going to put some uh, like uh, peeling with the plants like this. I have to make it look more uh, realistic. Yeah. We just put more uh, a little more details there. Okay, I think that looks great. And I will now use a uh, smaller brush. Yeah, but I'm going to, yeah, because I'm going to put more branches here. And yeah, that's why I'm going to use smaller brush. Low umber and blue. Branches. Okay, there are plenty of branches on this uh, tree, everyone. Okay. So we just have to put a tiny uh, what you call this, uh, branches. This will make all the details here uh, look more realistic. So everyone, if the dog was very noisy, maybe you can hear you can hear the dogs there outside. put more branches here. I'm using now the liner brush. Yeah, I'm gonna put more. So everyone, if you can hear the loud dogs. Yeah. 
my my microphone cannot cancel everything Hopefully those dogs will keep quiet. <laughs> Just keep on putting uh, plenty of. I just have to copy the guides, but I will not copy everything there. Because if I'm going to copy exactly the <laughs> those details there, it will be. Uh, I don't know how. Maybe I will finish it five months. <laughs> I'll just put plenty of uh, branches here to make like uh, to make it look like chaotic. Plenty of chaos like that. Yeah, the more chaos, the better it will become. put some a little orange on the first I want to use some more red orange and put here yeah let make it more like orange yeah also here I'll use for some little orange colors. Especially here. It is not just a light yellow burn, but it's a little uh, orange.
I'll try to put more uh, light yellow. I just want this one to be really, really bright. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello everyone, <laughs> this is my uncle. I'll just try to finish this one. Uh, but I think you can finish it faster. Okay, so I need to put... Uh, Yeah. I want to glow this part with uh, orange. Yeah. And then Okay, everyone so i'm going to put uh, lots of details here like shadow shades or or some um some uh, dark shades or whatever we need to make this as realistic okay so i will be using more blue and then right make some purple and a little white Add a little white and water. Okay, so I'm going to put yeah. Uh, this should be purple, everyone. So that's why I'm putting more. And then also this one, I'm going to put some shades. Okay, and then this one, we're going to put some uh, casted shadow. So I will make it a little blurry or blurry or something. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty nice. I'll make this a little bigger. Okay, yeah. And then this one here. I can also put some more. I'm going to add a little white here. Blue and red.
And here also I want to try to uh, I'll put some shade. So this should be like a um, protruding, uh, protruding um, uh, something like protruding um, snows. Okay. And in here, I try to put more shadow. And then the shadow here, another shadow. You just have to put plenty of shadows there. And then we can put some uh, footsteps. darks here yeah but it's already dark here I need to put some uh, white and, and red just to make this a little lighter this one I'm going to make it a little lighter with some red yeah so everyone is there some nice is there I'm gonna put uh, some purples here, light purples. Okay, I think this is really good. Yeah, so far it looks pretty good and realistic for me. And I really love the result, yeah. Even this part is really good to see. Okay, I will try now some more uh, highlights on the on this uh, part. I will put more highlights. I will put some yellow and red and white. Okay, here. Okay. Well, I will put more highlights here. Just a few highlights just to make this part. Uh, and also here on the footstep. Yeah, I just put uh, some highlights here. Plenty of highlights. I will try to make it a little darker. Just add more red and yellow. Yeah, just to make it look orange. Yeah, just a little lights here 
but it should be more like a reddish orange everyone just put it like this there are some few lights that touches this ground here and it's really really important Uh, I just I just follow the patterns but I didn't follow everything there on my reference so it's important everyone uh, if you want just to make it uh, to finish it faster and uh, it's better also okay so I will just put uh, some retouch and I think I am almost done so raw umber and white just so umber and white I'll just make this part a little lighter Okay, I will try some orange also, yellow and red. I'll just try to make it uh, I'll just try to put more highlights here maybe uh, also on the you can also put on the And uh, I will put also this uh, on these uh, branches. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sometimes I am out of words, but I like to put more here. I like to play this part. Okay. Yeah, I think I am done everyone. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna can I do here. I want to put some more. Okay. Yeah, I think I am done everyone. I am I am so so contented with the entire result. It looks great, it looks birch trees here, I like the birch trees. It just looks uh, pretty simple, but it looks pretty realistic for me. Yeah. Okay, so okay, I want to say thank you. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. Yeah, thank you everyone. Uh, yeah, if you're watching with me, just want to say thank you for giving your time, and I hope you learn something out of this tutorial. I learned that you get uh, what you want, you can learn, and you can also paint. Um, using this tutorial so I want to say thank you also to the owner of this photo uh, 
uh, the photographer says just it's pixels.com but uh, I don't know I don't know but I say thank you and okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and God bless you all all the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.